Mahava blessings, happy new moon in the sign of Gemini. We are entering a new lunar cycle. This is the lunar cycle of Sivan. And it is a time for new beginnings. It is, of course, the Gemini portal. And Gemini is the twins and is ruled by Mercury, the planet Mercury. And Mercury is the messenger of the gods. Mercury is the one who transcends the veil between the human, the 3D experience, and the higher realms. And this new moon is happening on the 6th of June at... 537 Pacific Standard, 837 AM Eastern Standard, and 137 GMT in the afternoon. It is happening at 16 degrees of Gemini. And there's a lot going on with this new moon. There is Mercury being conjunct Jupiter, which is expansion, communication, um, has a lot to do with um, expanding in our sovereignty. And the moon is conjunct Venus, which is known as the kiss of the goddess, and it is a time for devotion and to really allow ourselves to connect with the harmony, the beauty, the spiritual beauty, the gifts and the abundance and the joy and the pleasure that Venus brings. And of course, the sun and the moon are conjunct, so that's what makes a new moon. And it's at 16 degrees, so 16 is the number 7. And seven is the number of the high priestess. It's a number of initiation. It's a number associated with the divine feminine, with Mary Magdalene. It is a number of spiritual awakening of your auric field. of, And because this new moon has to do with communication, it really is about taking ownership for what we have created and what we are creating. Remember, Vibration, sound, frequency creates our world. Everything is created through vibration, through sound. So the vibrations that you, the thoughts that you think have a resonance, a frequency. Your words have a frequency. So it comes down to being mindful of our words, of what we are choosing to create and to birth into the world through our voice, through our words, through our actions. Now, if you would like to go deeper into the aspect of this new moon and of this frequency and what we're truly working with, because we're also working with the Aramaic letters that created Gemini and Jupiter. So there's a lot to this energy. I'm giving you the Cliff Notes version. Check out my podcast because I go into greater detail there and as to how to work with this energy, but in a summation of how to work with this energy. I mentioned being mindful of your words. I mentioned being in devotion. And how can we be in devotion? We can be in devotion by listening to a teaching, by singing, by chanting, by drumming, by doing your yoga practice, by meditating, by walking through nature. It's all about your intention through ritual. There are so many ways through prayer. Share a beautiful mantra. We're going to sing Shapira. And because Shapira has a lot to do with the number seven and has a lot to do with Venus and the moon and cultivating this spiritual beauty and this unity, this inner union. Because remember, the twins represent duality, seemingly opposing forces. However, they're brought into union. Because in essence, all is one. So we are coming back into union. We are integrating those parts of ourselves that we don't often gel with. And we are also cultivating our relationship with the divine, with God, Goddess, Source, Allah, doesn't matter what we call the creation frequency. And I also want to mention this moon has a lot to do with the Garden of Eden, with returning to our Edenic template, with to clearing our energetic template, which is our Tree of Life template, and aligning with the energies of creation, which are represented by Mother Eve. So, there's a lot. And the mantra we're going to sing is Shapera, Shapera. simplistic way. So we're aligning with spiritual beauty.
So make sure you take this time to ground, to align with your heart, to align with your soul, to be mindful of your communication, of your words, to nurture your relationships. And your communication has a lot to do with your relationships. And to choose the frequency you wish to align with. Have a blessed new moon. And let me know how, where you felt this mantra in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Or let me know how you're feeling this new moon. This new moon is particularly intense and I feel a deep purification energy. But of course, we're all individuals. So we all have different aspects of this moon that we feel more strongly than others. So let me know below. As always, subscribe, share, comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this. Have a blessed new moon. Ahava. Blessing.